Hello everyone. Welcome to C Academy YouTube channel. My name is Velilene Ngosi. In this lesson, we look at the DNA replication. By the end of this lesson, you will know the definition of a DNA replication and you will know when does DNA replication takes place during the cell cycle. Without any further ado, let's get to it. These questions that you see on the screen are taken from some of the previous question papers. So they are most used question in examination. So I will read them one by one. Question number one say, what is a DNA replication? So I will define DNA replication, show you some examples and then when does the DNA replication occur during cell cycle? And then another question say, what are the importance of a DNA replications? So I will show you the importance. And then how does DNA replication occurs? So with this one, I will do some animation. You will see how DNA replications occurs. So then let's start with the question number one. Question number one say, what is a DNA replication? So the DNA replication is the process during which a DNA molecule makes an exact copy of itself. So the statement say, when a DNA produces a copy of itself, that process is called DNA replication. For example, if you look at the, the, this structure, of a DNA molecule. So if it produces exact copy like this one, if you see this is the copy and this is the original one. So this process that just happened here is a DNA replication. We were having only one molecule. Now we have two molecules which are identical with everything are the same they have this they have the same nucleotides everything is the same so this process is called dna replication so that is the definition it's when a dna molecule produces exact copy of itself and then question number two say when does the dna replication occurs during the cell cycle so dna replication do not just happen anytime. So there is a specific period that is the DNA replication takes place. So here I have a cell circle. This circle here represents a life of a cell. A cell, the process that takes place in a cell, there is a cell division, which is the M phase. There is an interface. Most of the time, a cell is in the interface because during the interface is the period where a cell performs its function. That is the time where a cell do its own function. So DNA replication takes place during the interface of a cell cycle. Just before a cell division, a, a cell division it's a mitosis and meiosis. So DNA replication takes place during interface. Interface is this yellow, yellow part of this cycle is an interface. So this is the period where DNA replication takes place during the interface. Then number three, what are the importance of a DNA replication? So uh, the importance of a DNA replication is to double the genetic material so it can be shared between the resulting daughter cells during the cell division. And then another important is result in the formation of identical daughter cells during mitosis. If you see this, it's a cell. This is a cell. So it's a parent cell. So 
after mitosis, this cell produces two daughter cells. So these cells are produced by this, this parent cell. So in order for this cell to produce a complete daughter cells, they must the process of DNA replication must take place before the mitosis. Because if this process of DNA replication does not take place, these two daughters they will not have a complete genetic material because there won't be enough genetic material to to share between the daughters. So what happened is this cell duplicate its genetic material then one part of the material goes to one daughter and the other part goes to another daughter. So that is the importance of a DNA replication. And then the last question, how does DNA replication occur? So with this one, which is the main topic of this video, uh, this is the process of DNA replication. This process, I took it from a memorandum, examination memorandum. So I think it's better if, if, if you use it. I think you will get all the marks. So the process goes as follows. The double helix DNA unwind. Remember, DNA the natural structure of a DNA is double helix. It's like a spring. So in order for a DNA replication takes place, the double helix must unwind. So this molecule must be like this one. So it must be that, that this twisting of the strand must be straight. So it must not be twisting. It must be straight, yes. So first, the strand must be straight and then second weak hydrogen bond break to form two separate strands so here is the molecule and then if you remember in the last video about the structure of a dna there is a weak hydrogen bond between dna nucleotides so with the help of an enzyme, the bond between the, 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 the nucleotide breaks. And then as it breaks, this strand one goes to this direction and the other one will go to the other direction. So because there is no bond in between then this strand will move to separate direction then number three both dna strand strands serve as a template yes so here this is a template and then another one is a template okay template is just just like it's not bonding to anything just there like waiting for a completion and then number four free nucleotides from nucleoplasm complete the dna which adenine pairs with thymine while guanine pairs with cytosine so if we go to this slide we've got our template this ones are our template because this process takes place inside the nucleus Inside the nucleus, there is a free nucleotides, which are not bonding, which are just there moving around like this case at this point. They are just moving around. And then as they move around, adenine attract thymine from the moving nucleotides. These nucleotides, just that I cannot show them moving. So but they are, they, are, they, are, they are revolving around the nucleus. As I said, this process takes place in the nucleus. So adenine attract thymine, while 
guanine attract cytosine and then cytosine attract guanine so what what happened here like i say it's adenine adenine will attract thymine so this thymine will go and then like stay here and then another nucleotide is cytosine cytosine will attract guanine the guanine is this one then this is guanine and then adenine again attract thymine so still have thymine and then cytosine again attract guanine same applies to thymine here thymine will attract adenine so i separate them by color so that you'll be able to see so here we need adenine and then we've got guanine guanine will attract cytosine And then we've got thymine. Thymine will attract adenine again. Because this process is going to take long. So I will speed up the process then. You will see in a very fast pace. So now I'm done with the pairing. If you look at these two molecules, these two molecules are identical and are equal. They say everything is the same in this molecule. When we say DNA replication, we talk about this. If we read the last one, this result in two identical DNA molecule. Yes, if you, if you see here, we have two identical DNA molecule. Everything is the same here. So each consists of one original and one new strand. New strand, yes. So here, this is the original strand. And then a new strand that we, we, we packed is this one. And then this molecule also have original one strand and then a new strand that we, uh, we we packed is this one so after this process these dna's will twist then they will become like the neutral the, the natural structure of a dna so this is how dna replication takes place so if you are asked to explain the dna replication you can use this text here then I've showed you how with the animation, I think it, it makes sense. So if you find this video very helpful, please subscribe and comment. So good luck with your studies if you are a student. Thank you.